Salaf Mai Rahim, welcome back to my channel. Uh, let's look at another concept in communication or in BSP, which is related to quantization. Uh, so, so, the first step when you do, when you are converting an analog to digital, con uh, uh, when you are converting an analog signal into digital, is to take samples. The next is to assign quantity to those samples. And that is done through something called a process called quantization. So what is quantization? Quantization means once you have taken a sample of your signal, basically you're assigning a value to it. All right, you're assigning a value to it. So the rule of thumb is this, the higher, so for example, if your ADC has 12 bits, which that means that it will chop the signals, is, it will, that, so if your amplitude, so your resolution is going to be much high. If you have an uh, if you have an ADC that is eight bit, so that has a resolution of two hundred and fifty five, and if the signal is swinging from negative to positive magnitude, it will only have uh, one hundred twenty eight at the top level and 100, negative one hundred twenty eight at the bottom, uh, which is from zero to two to two fifty five. So higher the number of bits are going to be, uh, the higher the resolution is going to be, the higher, the closer the values are going to be. So once you have sample your signal, once you have sample your signal, that is, so the values are, uh, the closer the values are going to be, the more precise, the more resolution uh, your signal will have and based on number of bits. If you are choosing a low number of bits, which means you will not have a resolution, a uh, good resolution. So that's what I want to show you in this particular video. So uh, flow graph is quite simple. My flow graph is quite simple. I have a variable which is by default that has a sampling uh, a samp rate of 256 kilo samples. I have a signal source uh, that is, so I'm using a variable block for both frequency and amplitude. Uh, one kilo of signal and the uh, range for frequency is defined as sample rate divided by 2, 256 divided by 102, which will give me a sample rate of 128 kilohertz. That's the stopping frequency. The starting frequency is 100 hertz and default is 1 kilohertz. That's what you're seeing here. That's the frequency which is being called at this particular block. Same thing for amplitude. Amplitude. All right, let's, let me just click OK. Same thing for amplitude, I'm calling it an amplitude. It's going from default value is one, it's starting at zero. I'm using 32,000, why 32,000? Because two raised to, two raised to four, two raised to 15, I think would give me 32,000. Yeah, two raised to 15, which means 15 bits of ADC would give me this particular level. That's how, the sig that's how many times the signal will chop. I'm using a widget counter plus slider. All right, let's click OK. And the other block that I'm using, uh, which can be found in GNU Radio, uh, which is right here. You can just simply type Command F and type Quantizer, Quantizer, and you can just simply click Quantizer. All right, just simply drag and drop. This Quantizer, uh, I'm calling a block which is actually a resolution block that has a value of eight and that resolution block is defined right here in terms of a chooser so res is defined by a resolution i'm choosing different resolution uh two bits three bits four bits five bits six bits seven bits eight bits 12 bits and 16 bits so this is when you're buying an, an adc definitely an adc it will cost let's say 15 dollars for a eight bit adc and then definitely more money for a 16 bit adc because of the resolution, how it's going to chop your signals. It will have how many levels are going to be there. The higher the number of bits, the more levels are going to be there. So default value is eight. All right, so that's it. Uh, let's just simply run our flow graph. So by pressing a play button, you can simply run this flow graph and look at it. All righty, okay, all right. So, so, so this is, so this is my pure analog signal. And so this is red and analog, and I'm trying to quantize it. So once I quantize it, I'm exactly getting the same signal back. There's nothing happening right now. And let's look at our frequency. Indeed, it is one kilohertz. All right, this is at about one kilohertz. Right, if you were to put it on a peak, right here, one kilohertz. Now, uh, let's increase our frequency, as just to show you. 
And if you want to look at it, you can see that's my signal. All right. Next thing I want to do, I want to actually include two bits. Now, two bits of ADC, since it's in terms, we're trying to digitize our signal and digit, uh, uh, in digital logic, we have zeros and ones. We are converting that in a form of a, a, a to convert or assigning quantity to this particular signal. So two raised to two would give me four levels, isn't it? It would give me four levels. Uh, let me try to stop this. If I can stop this or not. I do have an option to stop this. All right. So let's look at it. Uh, I hope you can clearly see this. All right. Let's look at it. How many levels are there if I have two bits? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I'm using three bits of ADC, the signal is being chopped into how many levels? Two raised to three is going to be eight. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, as, as I'm increasing the resolution, as I am increasing the resolution, what, what is happening that, that, that these are the values which are going to be. So, so when you're converting a signal from analog to digital, which means you're converting this uh, 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 red signal, which is my analog, and by quantizing it, let's erase this. Can I, will I be able to reconstruct this signal based on those points using two bit converter or a three bit converter? Definitely a three bit converter because these values are going to be much closer. The closer the values are going to be, the smaller the quantization error is going to be. Let's, go, let's quickly look at it. Okay. Uh, so let's look at it. This is my actual signal that is at about 2.5 kilohertz, this right here. But due to not having a proper resolution, uh, these are all corresponding to a quantization error, which is a noise error. Why? Because let's say this is at 0.5 and this is at 0, this is 0.5, this is at 1. Uh, if there is, because in, in binary, we are going to round off to a next value. If I, were, if I have a signal, if I have this point, which is at 0.5, I need to round this off to, let's say, 1, positive 1, all right, or to 0. So this rounding off will introduce what we call a quantization noise. So by take by making your ADC at a higher resolution by including more bits, now I can minimize this quantization error to something like this. And and in this way I can start easily correcting my signal, reconstructing my signal based on those values. I hope you're getting this point. And see, you can indeed see there there quantization noise is going down and down. So let's just start losing three bits. Let's do four bits. The higher the value is going to be the reconstruction because I just turned off my analog signal. This is, is getting close at four bit, at 2.5 kilohertz of signal, at four bit of ADC, I can easily reconstruct my signal based on these quantization points. And the error are, is, are getting minimized. All right, let's use a 5-bit ADC. How many levels are going to be there? In 4 bits, there are going to be 16 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Same thing, 16 here. So there are going to be 16 samples. All right, so, so let's look at 5 bits. Also, at the same time, visualize over here as well. 5 bits is getting even closer, something even closer to my analog signal, which is actually this red one. And then at 6 and then it's seven. And then look at look at my noise floor as well, guys. This is as I'm increasing the number of bits or I'm increasing the resolution, uh, I'm buying a higher and higher version, higher, higher number of bits of ADC, I'm actually improving my signal. This is what we normally see in, in DSP and in communication system. We learn about this concept, but this is a very beautiful way to visualize this particular concept. 8-bit is even better. So now your quantization noise is going down and down and down as compared to a 2-bit, which is much higher quantization noise. It almost looks, in terms of a signal strength, almost looks like my signal. One can easily see this is not going to be a proper reconstruction of the signal. 
by increasing the number of bits I can clearly see and my noise floor look at my noise floor if I use a 2.5 kilohertz of uh, frequency look at my noise floor it went all the way up to 1 kilo uh, and less than 100, 100 dB less than 100 dB and my signal is still intact at 2.5 2.5 kilohertz so that's the beauty and that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial is that that uh, we have learned uh, about quantization noise and what is a quantizer but you can actually see a practical application of this happening in front of you uh, using uh, a simple quantizer which is available in GNU Radio. So I hope you like this small tutorial on quantization. If you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.